Good morning all, or afternoon, or evening. I hope this video is finding you well. All right, so I just want to go over the strengths, the um, areas of impact or areas we can improve, and also just like the future of where I can see and where I hope to see education go. And so um, I'm just going to jump right in. So um, I'm going to start with uh, strengths. And so the number one strength that I have seen in educators is how much we care which is good <laughs> because as educators, we should be caring about our students and where they are so that then we can see them grow into um, the amazing individuals that they are going to be someday. And so I've seen caring as far as like seeing a kid's need and knowing, all right, how can I help them? What can I do for that child in order for them to succeed and grow in their school, in their uh, social life, and as a person? And so I think that has been a really big plus for education um, this year and the last couple of years, especially through the pandemic. And going off of that, um, I've also seen like um, how we are or how educators have been willing to go out of their comfort zone. And we've seen this as going from like complete non-online to fully online and teaching through the pandemic. That was a big step for a lot of educators and they made it. And um, so just the flexibility and the adaptability of, okay, I have to go out of my comfort zone now in order to give these kids what they need. So that kind of piggybacks off of caring. Um, my, I also want to talk about like going like you see those um, teachers who will like get in their cars and I'll have like a parade for like the students and drive by their houses and like wave like hi we love you we're still here for you whatever you need and um, being able to do that in the pandemic was really really awesome and really impactful for those kids um, so I thought those were two amazing strengths that uh, teachers were doing um, so off of that, I am going to go to places that uh, educators can um, um, need room or have room for improvement. So number one, I would say um, those rural communities still need like help with um, internet. I know I really had problems with my internet when I came home from the pandemic at first. And luckily our uh, family was um, in a place where we could have a better or a more reliable internet source. Um, I know some families weren't able to do that. And some uh, I know some of my friends had to stop school in the fall because they could not keep up with online learning because there was too many fees with it. And that is something that I completely understand too, because there has been a lot of fees that go with online learning because technology is still not cheap. And that is because it is expensive for the business. So I think what we could have done better is going to the businesses to see what we can do in order to like get those rates down a little bit maybe and also seeing like if there's different job opportunities for like the students to be able to pay for those um technologies um I know you could do that in high school I don't know if you would or I know you wouldn't be able to do that in middle school or for um elementary school but just finding different ways to problem solve to get um, reliable internet. Maybe like the school has money for or money in their fund to get like hotspots to different students who are out in those communities or um, maybe seeing if there's any way like they could stop at the library or get a um, technology hub up for students who need that. Um, 
I would say another uh, thing that we need to still improve upon is um, seeing those children who are in low SES um, statuses and figuring out how we can get those students the most appropriate um, um, education for them and the best education for them as well. And so that may look like, once again, seeing if the school has extra money for, um, you know, an iPad with a hotspot on it for, or with a um, separate hotspot for that kid to be able to do his homework, or maybe like an, a Mac or a Chromebook for those students and seeing just how we can get that, or even going to the community and asking for help, like, hey, this student really needs this, and obviously not saying the the student's name, but like, these students really need this, is there any way you would like be, um, generous and um, offer this towards them and just keep them updated in that as well so that they um, know that their money is going to help this kid grow and just continue on in his or her um, education. And so those are what I have seen in um, our education communities. Um, something that I look forward to in the future is just seeing like us go outside or continue to go outside of our comfort zones and be creative. Like that's one of the biggest things we can do, be caring and creative and problem solve. And so that's what I hope for every educator. So I hope you all have a very nice night. Thank you.